Well, new at noon, it's essentially a done deal, but that's not stopping some citizens and county leaders from waging a fight. Changes to bus routes at Southridge Mall have stirred a lot of emotions and now possibly legal action. These county leaders were stumped. You know, you say to yourself, can Southridge management be that dumb? Okay, from a marketing standpoint, it makes no sense to me. Absolutely no sense. If I'm the director of marketing, by the way, okay, and you've got the biggest holiday season coming up, the last thing I want is negative publicity. At this transit committee meeting, leaders and citizens were baffled over Southridge Mall's decision to end bus service to mall property. Starting November 1st, four bus routes that serve the mall will be moved to a bus stop 350 feet off property. The reason, mall management says, is to increase pedestrian and driver safety. One supervisor suggested just ignoring the changes altogether. What are they going to do? Are they going to call the cops? Are they going to write another letter? I say November 1st, we continue as normal. And let's see if some of these challenges Let's see if some of these challenges will stand up in court. Southridge shoppers who attended the hearing appreciated the supervisor's backing. I don't like to break laws, but I don't think that that's a law that he can stop us from getting off the bus in front of the store. In the end, the supervisors voted unanimously to have court counsel examine the bus routes to determine if the changes violate the Americans with Disabilities Act. And a protest is planned tomorrow at Southridge Mall at 11 a.m.